Oh. I don't really understand the the number of designation of the the weather. It's so kind of misleading. I mean, just the one number doesn't really tell you anything. There's like humidity and wind and all these other numbers that you're gonna need to know to know how cold it is. It's warmer. Yesterday was what was it? Negative nine. Yesterday was negative nine and today is negative three. But it's really cold. It's, it's, a, it's not like a dry cold. And plus we're right here by the water. But we're gonna do what we're gonna do. The dogs when if I was the you know, stop in one place for a while. The dog's feet get cold. And, uh... That's not cool. So as long as we keep walking, you know, the blood keeps flowing into their... into their feet, and... they, uh... they stay pretty warm. We can go really well. Go ahead, go ahead. Keep going. He's got his feet hurting. We're not, we're not doing a strenuous exercise, so I don't, I don't feel the need to put any boots on them. That's usually for the ice, not to cut their feet up. Um, it's not really for keeping them warm. I suppose it could. Well, I don't, I don't have problems with their feet. Like, a few years ago I did, when I would, I used to walk on the, on the beach a lot, and they would still go in the water. They still do here too, but it's, they don't get to as much, and, and they get their feet wet, and, they, they'd kind of get dry at home. But that's where Yuki learned that Vaseline tastes really good. Hurry up, babe. Why you gotta go in the snow? What? Go, rope. I had to look up like this to see it. So it's going down now. And to me, it almost looks like it's going to the left. Does it do that? Going to the left. If, you, if you're looking at it, it goes to the left. And so that would be... Well, I have to be standing north. So I'm standing south, looking north, and I see the moon moving to the left. So that would be to the west. <coughs> so where the sun goes too, isn't it? Are you stopping again? Lots of little stops. Here comes Goru. I just tied her leash together. Shorter. Still a nice good long leash. It's 
probably a year ago that uh close to a year that we started out with this leash and I braided it up and it was I think 25 feet long 30 feet long but then I I do this curl around my body that's not five feet but there's other reductions and now it's uh, looks like about six feet there we'll call it we'll call it three feet go Ru. come on Hurry, dude. I want to go together. Come on. No cars. All right. Come on. That's not cool. Stop. Stop. Ice. It's an ice plateau. So all those people stacking rocks and stuff. The the stream stacks ice like you stack rocks. It's an inanimate object in the stacking stacking the shit like we do. A flat stationless stationary motionless. Earth. I'm on the earth. Everybody talking about the West. West now. World Economic Forum. So, it's on the cusp. You just gotta keep talking to the people that you know don't don't believe the way that that we know to be true. These people think that the other people have our best interests at hand. At heart. Whatever. At heart, not at hand, because at hand they they seem to do the exact opposite of what would be our best interests. And then the lies. They go so hard with the lies. People say, nah, I, I think it might not be what you're saying it is. And they just go, they double down and go harder with the lies. They don't do any kind of research when anybody says anything against what they say. But you have to. You have to do the research like that. You have to show your work. Otherwise, everybody is just believing what you're saying. And... I don't show my work because the things that I say, I don't have any special knowledge. The things that I say, you can find out yourself. And so you do your own work and then it's more powerful for you. Um, but like once you hear about it, you're not ignorant anymore. You know of it. I, I would say you're bordering on the line of foolishness if you don't go to investigate the things that people say, just like Eric Bay's video, you know, you, uh, you gotta, if you hear about something, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta take it in and you gotta, you gotta weigh it. You gotta weigh these things. That's why it's so easy to make it like, like something that people don't do is because all you gotta do is pile more and more absurd stuff on and the people they just get to this point where they're like oh god this guy this guy over here he he tells me lies very seldomly so i'm gonna just listen to what he says yeah, i'm gonna let him do all the work and you see that's that's the trick what do you see oh wow good for you that was funny, I've never seen her do anything like that. What? 
What do you think you're a moose now? She thinks she's a moose. Gonna eat the trees. Oh, sorry, I was I was just saying something. Whoa, 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 whoa. You fucking birds. Don't you make me fall down. <laughs> what do you think about that, Yuki? Right in your bird hole. Ice. This is all ice. Got a really strong core from walking on ice. Walking on ice. Walking on sunshine. Ooh, it don't feel good. No. Yeah, it does. It's cold. It's cold. Why is it so light out? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what happened? This is weird. Why is the sun coming up now? I feel like this is kind of strange. Is anybody else? They're all relatively... Yesterday, I think I went even lighter. Was yesterday's walk this? this bright? I don't remember it being this bright. This is kind of strange. But, oh well, we'll go with it. What are you going to do? You light up my life. Oh yeah. It's coming. It's coming. The fireworm coming down the 13th warrior there you go that's kind of neat it, it went to the right color a little bit that's a little bit exaggerated but hey hey hey, hey. it's in a different spot yeah but last night well this morning it was up there and then last night, where was it? I'm trying to think of where it was last night. <coughs> At nighttime, it's usually a... Uh... No, go! Good boy! Come on, go Roo. Maybe these tracks are new. I don't know. I was saying that yesterday. What I gotta do is I gotta start stepping on all these other people's tracks. So I can make sure that they're old. Oh, here's one. Okay, let's step on these. so funny I got those shoes they're just shoes why would you be wearing shoes my feet my feet feel really good I got me they're North Face boots and they're called heat seekers like missiles heat seekers oh my and they're good they're not like the Sorrells I like Sorrells too Sorrells, you can change the liners on them usually, at least the old style. And uh, these ones are they're permanent, and I mean they make them really good. But when you put your boots on and take them off a lot, and a lot of times your feet move around more in there, and you get the more socks, so you wear things away. So you can't ruin them. But my old pair. Uh, 
uh, I could still wear them, but I, I got these boots and uh, so I, I cut the old pair off. I cut the leather upper off. So now they're kind of like uh, those outdoor Crocs, wintertime Crocs, but they're, they're made out of a better rubber than Crocs are. That stuff looks like, I don't know, shit. Almost like fake plastic. How do you have fake plastic? Is that what's coming next? I'll bet you. I'll bet you that's what's next. We got fake plastic. What is the next thing gonna be that replaces plastic? It's gonna be egg whites. Oh, she's so annoying, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> she got herself so excited she had to lick her pussy. What's up, dude? Look at those claws. I've never trimmed these nails. Never say never. I've done him one or two times, but he's 10 years old. <sighs> he keeps him long. They don't let you trim their nails. I'm not gonna sedate the dogs so that I can trim their nails. And what I learned over the years with Goru is he trims his own nails. A lot of the time, just walking and, and doing things on the hard ground uh, will shorten them, keep them short. They're, they're highly active and, and plus they what they do is I've seen them do it is they bite them they bite them down they it's just like a, a bone that they always got with them they chew their bone down it's just you know a dead type of material it doesn't have any feeling until you get to the quick the the blood part they do have blood going into them I don't know I don't know so much maybe it's like a giant piece of hair if you think about it that way 
the it's like the root your fingernail root but it's the dog claw root <laughs> dog claw root that sounds like some kind of witch's ingredient uh one dog claw root yeah okay Aye. Poof. big smoke comes up big smoke me big smoke me chief from big smoke boom You know, it's kind of funny. Something that I've realized with the, the wife speaking a different language originally than mine is. And also meeting people that way whilst living my life is those, those people, they, they sound like they're talking funny to us, but we sound like they're talking, like we're talking funny to them. It's all because of the way that the sentence structure is. And so while it sounds amusing, I don't, I don't really see how it's making fun of, uh, you know, I'm not like making them say something stupid, usually. Sometimes I'd make people say that, but it's just because I've said this before too, is I enjoy it. The differences in the way people talk it sounds cool i mean you ask anybody really and they're gonna say yeah oh yeah that sounds kind of cool but like it can also be a hindrance to not understand or or not not be aware that that's just the way that they form their sentences and they're not stupid at all they're probably smarter than you but the thing i was so amazed with when I went to Thailand is like these people, a lot of them, I mean, it's, there's a wide demographic of people. There's rich people and poor people and all this stuff. Come on, where are you going? But uh, everybody, like even the poor, the poor people, if they still have a means, they're all sending their, their kids to school, to college, to this, to that. They all, everybody, everybody goes to college if you had the opportunity to you go to college and i'm not really one that pushes college but uh what that shows me is that the people are no slouches they're no slouches even though it might not be the best thing for them to do they're doing a thing to try to better themselves and and I guess some people would say, oh, well, that's just what they have to do, but they don't really. So now that I'm talking about it and I'm thinking about this other side of it, I'm starting to think, oh, that's kind of sad because they don't have to go to college. And, and like I said before, I don't think the college is going to teach the things that college says it does. And then, um, well, you have the opportunity to learn it, but it doesn't teach it. <coughs> if you know what that means so these people go away from their way of life where they don't have to they don't have to know anything extra they just need to know these basic things for life and then you can live your life and the happiness can be can be far greater because you're not hurting anyone else you're not harming anyone else if everybody was to to live in this way then nobody would be being harmed and and you wouldn't have to put it out of your mind you wouldn't have to be like oh what a great day i love i love riding around in my new car Oh, whoops, I just thought about the African kid standing next to the toxic puddle with the big, huge belly because he's fucking starving to death. Oh, whoops. And then now my mind wanders to the, to the point that there's people that don't eat or drink anything. They wander around in the desert talking about whatever it is that they talk about, their religion or something. I mean, these are things made up in their mind. If an angel comes down and talks to you, that's you. Because guess what? Everything is you. 
If you see a ghost, that's you. That's you. If the ghost is, it's like the telltale, the telltale heart, you know, you hear the boom, 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 boom in the floor. That's him. The heart is not there in the floor beating. That's him. It's his conscience. You, you should be able to, to figure that out just from the fucking story. I mean, I, I read that story when I was a little kid. It was suggested to me by my teacher, but I mean, what the hell? It was suggested to the whole class. I'm not talking like I was teacher's pet, but we had to read it. It's not like I'm thinking, oh, there's a heart in the floor. Because that's, that's ridiculous. <laughs> my whole, I, I was taking apart the phone at like five. Taking apart the phone. This, how the fuck is my grandma in this fucking phone? That was a major thing for me. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? That was probably put into me by by people telling me about, about my grandpa or other people in my life or, or maybe, I don't know, maybe you hear it while you're in the womb. <coughs> maybe you you're just born with the knowledge of everything and somehow it gets blocked because if everything's me and I've just got amnesia doesn't it oh, oh wait so as I'm saying all this we all know that like children are con are are closer to remembering the the way everything is so that means that the erasure, the eraser of your, of your memory or whatever it is, is here. It's not before you get here. It's not like wipe his memory and put him down there in that body. It's like put him back in that body. Send him back. And then you also have a better understanding when you come back into your body because you've seen this other side. You've seen the place that that everybody is either scared or excited to well, come here. Scared or excited or whatever it is. Come on, let's go. To get to or stay away from. I don't know. Maybe it's to ease the shock of coming here. And then it just gradually fades away. Maybe it's all just bunk anyways. Maybe there isn't a way that things work. You know, if I create everything and I don't know how it's, how it works, what if it just doesn't, what if it doesn't really work? It's just like, oops, Max just created another law. Now this happens when this is all like this, <laughs> you know? at a misunderstanding of things and then all of a sudden the sun's not a giant fire in the sky now it's like a nuclear explosion oh, now it's plasma I hear plasma a lot plasma screen TV you got plasma in your blood plasma drive warp core engine <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> plasma. Give me some plasma. Pla plasma. Say it. Say plasma. Say car ramrod. And I say, say helicopter. Are you guys doing this? Are you at home? Helicopter. Car ramrod. Simon says. Save psychic. 
Please take it. <laughs> I know, you know, that I'm fucking telling the truth. <laughs> That's not the way the song goes. You just haven't got any proof. Okay, here we go. M A X Max. Maximum overdrive. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, this is the last thing you'd see. Last thing you'd see. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, don't shit on my name. Oh, is that your name too? Okay, good boy. This is Max and Goru. But Goru spells his name kind of shitty. <laughs> what are you doing? Ah, it can bite your face. You can bite my face. Jump up and bite your neck. That's how she bites him. She will bite, 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 bite. <laughs> uh, uh, I've seen him. Come here. Hey. Come over here. Come on. Go. Come on. That's not cool. Let's go. Come on. Go, 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 go. What are you doing? You're not bothering me. Fucking weirdo. She's back there. I can feel her chewing on the fucking leash. What are you doing? Thirty-three minutes. Better turn the video off soon. I love the smell of diesel in the morning. Dude, what's what's the diesel engine sound like in the one? <laughs> oh man. Have you <laughs> They got those claws, you saw the claws. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, what are you doing? I don't I'm not going down there. We did this yesterday. Come on. What's down there? Anyways. I never really felt the claws. Come on, so I think they can, you know, kind of hold their feet back so that they're not digging the claws in. But they can, the dogs can punch you pretty fucking good with their little fucking feet. <laughs> It's so small, it's like getting hit by a little kid. Oh, a little 100 pound kid. It's just like somebody ramming a little stick. You know, a little stick as big as their foot. Smaller than your fist. It's, it's like a little pound punch. <laughs> and they punched me in the stomach before. Come on! Oh, look at that. Popcorn. Popcorn. Come on, Goofy. You're the one that made your leash shorter. Come on.
No fishing past that line. Come on. Goofy one and goofy two. It's so funny he's got those balls. <laughs> and there's like a black spot. <laughs> Is that from licking them too much? I guess I'm just jealous. <laughs> I'm not. 